Okay, I'm going to go over how to actually uh, adjust a governor. Uh, I have this Honda lawnmower here. This is the, the governor systems are virtually identical on all small engines. Um, you only want to adjust the governor not when your engine's surging, hunting, none of that. Uh, it generally has nothing to do with governor. Only time you want to um, adjust the governor is if the engine is over revving, something like that, and you've already eliminated the carburetor and other problems like that. Um, you will need, unless you've been doing this long enough, where you can do it by year, um, that's one of the reasons I looked at it, decided to throw a tachometer on it. I have just a little um, Sendak. They're just hour meters that you can buy, pick up for 20, 30 bucks everywhere. Um, but they also have a built-in tachometer. I use this. I actually really like this. You just wrap it around the wire wrap around the spark plug wire, come out. Right now it's just calculating how many hours the engines have been ran. Um, we use this on hundreds of machines, but this will tell you exactly how many RPMs the engine's running at. It should be running at 3,600, almost all engines, 3,600 RPMs max. You know, most of them will actually find out they run about 3,400 RPMs. But I'm going to go over how to adjust the governor. First of all, you got the governor arm right here. This is the tension spring that uh, applies a certain amount of tension. When you move the throttle, you notice it puts slack in here so the spring doesn't pull as tight on there. When you, well, the throttle was down. Now if you move the throttle fast, it puts a lot of tension on here. So it's pulling this actually open right now. So. This way the carburetor is closed, this way is open. Different engines will be different ways, but the easiest way is to put it on fast and whatever way it wants to pull the carburetor, whatever way the spring tension is pulling the other way. Sometimes the spring will actually be hooked up here instead of on the opposite side of the fulcrum because this is where the governor input shaft is, is right here. Um, sometimes the spring, most of the time, like on Tecumseh's and stuff, it'll actually be up here pulling this way but it's just the opposite where that's fast that's fast anyway another way to do it is look at the top of your carburetor and see which way the butterfly opens um, but the idea is if your engine is over revving what you need to do is loosen this this nut put a pair of pliers on this little shaft coming out of the engine and rotate the position that this shaft you know so if the thing grabs around it rotate you know instead of it locking right here you'll you want to lock it right here so let's do the diagram this is the shaft coming out of the engine a little blue mark on it. You see it? This is this arm crimped around it. And right now I have those lines lined up. That's that's where it is right now. Um, by adjusting the point at which this clamps on either increases or decreases your idle. Or increases or decreases your your maximum RPM that the engine runs. Put it this way, put it that way. Um, if you move this engine, if I move it, the shaft stays in the same spot, and I move it this way, it'll actually um, speed the engine, make the engine hit a maximum RPM even higher. If I move it this way, it'll slow it down. This is a Honda GX or GCV uh, 160, but it's going to be the same on almost all engines. You'll have to look into it a little bit more for yourself, for your exact thing. So, I gotta move my shaft in here. The middle shaft needs to actually move counterclockwise, just a little bit. So I wanna, you can scratch a line, but you need to memorize exactly where it is in case you need to reset it to the exact same position. I'm just going to loosen this bolt, and I mean it's the teeniest movement that changes these things. Teeniest, teeniest. 
you'd be surprised. So I'm gonna grab my pliers. Okay, snug it down. Let's start it up and see where the engine's sitting. Before it was at like 4,500 RPMs. That's a 3060, that's too slow. So I moved it too much. So I'm trying to move it back. So that time I moved the shaft um, clockwise to speed up the engine a little bit. If you sit, if you're getting it to sit between 34, you really don't want it to go over 36. You're going to blow up your engine. You can get it to sit between 34 to 36 right there. You're perfect. Don't mess with it. I guess it would help if I explained how the governor system actually works. This is the internals of a governor. Gear, weights, and a push rod. So what happens is, as the engine spins, it spins this gear. Spins it. The faster it spins it, it throws these little weights out. these little weights get thrown out to the sides. As they get thrown out to the sides, this little, it, they lift up this little plunger. I need a small screw. screw. There we go. Here's another engine. Okay. You have counterweights. You have a gear right here that spins with the engine. And then you have these little metal counterweights. Counterweight, counterweight. You can see them moving up and down. At the faster this spins, you can see just right there, it raises up this little push, push rod, plunger. So the faster it spins, this pushing up actually closes the throttle of the, you know, of the carburetor. This actually pushes on Dirty engine. That actually pushes on 
this little lever right there. See this little lever right here? Pushes on that, which is directly hinged to your governor arm. And as it pushes on it, it actually closes the throttle. So the weights are perfectly perfectly weighted and everything to give you um, to expand at a certain pressure at a certain RPMs. And the springs are certain tensions to help counteract that. But so the faster it goes when it gets to about 3600 RPMs, this is adjusted right. It's actually pushing those weights are all the way out. Those weights are all the way out, pushing this up as high as it can go, or just stop, and closing the throttle almost completely. And then when the engine slows down, this falls back, starts falling back down, and the engine speeds right back up to help maintain that 3600 RPMs, 3400 RPMs, right in that range so you don't blow up the engine, so you don't over rev the engine, so you constantly have um, a constant speed, which you need for all stationary um, Lana Garden engines, Briggs and Stratton, Honda, Tecumseh, Kohler, Subaru. Hopefully that helps. That's the governor system. And I mean, this is just a little bit different design. You know, same thing. This is, I'm pretty sure this is a Honda. But as it raises up, it pushes this little plunger up. It's kind of messing up because there's a rod that goes up through it. Hope you enjoy.